Now there are places that people can go to to receive massages for $39 and they are franchises and apparently they hire massage therapists just out of school with no experience and they I think they may pay them like maybe $15 a massage maybe with that along with the spas also not paying massage therapists you know more than 40 percent a lot of them pay under 40 percent of the bill how realistic is it for a massage therapist to have a lucrative steady career as a healthcare professional mm -hmm. for the average massage therapist it becomes increasingly difficult to create a lucrative full-time paying job salary somewhere between forty five and sixty thousand dollars which I was making um, between eighty four and ninety uh, the only encouragement I would have for massage therapists is to create their own practice where they can charge between sixty five and ninety five dollars an hour where they can deliver high quality massage that can be longer than 50 minutes per person, where they can really create an environment where they can give to the client what that client needs. Um, places like you talk about become an assembly line and we call them actually car wash massages uh, because it's just um, you know, new graduates coming out are not like a massage therapist that has been in business for 15 years. There is a huge difference in quality. And anyone that has such a quality time under their hands, I doubt would work for these assembly line places that hire massage therapists for this little money. And that's why the turnover is so high. You know, and you're not going, as a consumer, you're not going to get consistent quality because one day you're going to get somebody really good, the next day not, you know. So if you go to your individual massage therapist that you have a relationship with, you know what you're going to be getting. And it's actually worth the money to pay because you can search out your particular massage therapist and get a really, really profound healing experience instead of just a fluff and buff. And um, so that's how I feel about these places. We just had an employer come here recently and he just about hired the whole class. And because he got massages from them and their quality of work is so high because of all of the content here that he, he's very spoiled now. So when he interviews students from other schools, he's disappointed because not only do our students have great skills, but they have the presence and the mindfulness. I mean, they actually are going into a pretty big um, employment situation. Um, and it is corporate. He happens to be a real human being and totally gets what we're teaching here and is actually in love with what we're doing here. However, will he pull it off in his franchise that he has, is buying and running to meet the bottom line, that will be an interesting thing to watch. How he can be a human being with our graduates and really honor what they're doing and meet the bottom line, that will be a trick to be watched. So I'm curious so myself. It's a, it's a franchise. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Do you want to say the name? Uh, yeah, it's Massage Envy. You know, it's one of the new new forces to be reckoned with in the massage field. The company that I work for, we have 600 locations across the country and we're making massage affordable for everyone. Massage Envy is a franchise like McDonald's. It's the McDonaldizing of massage. Whatever, you know, you can make a lot of money doing that. But it's a franchise, basically. And I looked it up online one day, as though I were someone who were going to purchase a franchise. And it was rated as a very hot franchise. In other words, really successful. And uh, another 
my sister told me a friend of hers opened one up in California. This woman who opened it up is, never was a massage therapist. She has no clue. She's a businesswoman. And she's making a lot of money out there because there's so many therapists in the area. It's the glut of therapists. And she's pulling them in. I don't know if she's paying them as low as what I've heard out in New Jersey is paying them. But, you know, I think there's a bar that they have and it stays around the same level. They have its pro and cons, you know. The pro is that they make massages available to the middle class, which often still isn't possible because it's too expensive for them. And, you know, suddenly their work environment in, in, in a place like that is very pleasant. And it uh, is great for a student that just comes out of school because it gives them a job where they will be booked on a regular basis. The younger people and the students who graduate are jumping into places like Massage Envy. They're, they're hungering for work. So they're willing to take $10 an hour or 7 or 9 and a little tip just to get the experience. And those places will have a high turnover, constantly pulling in the students and constantly dragging down, lowering the bar on what we can charge for a fair fee for that kind of work as a professional. Uh, there are locations, I will tell you that I know for a fact, there are locations that hire people directly out of school. Um, I like to think that the clientele in this area, we've got a yoga studio on one side of us, so the people in this area would not be satisfied with uh, inexperienced therapists. The complaint that I'll mention that I got, my clients, I don't give my clients people that don't know what they're doing. And one of them, even though he was new and he was out of school, he's a good therapist, but that client was able to tell. She said, I know this is not fair of me to compare him to Terry, but I could tell he just got out of school. And I was honest with her, gave her a free massage, you know, um, to let her know, yep, yeah, you are right. He did just graduate recently. And as good as he is, my clients can tell. So I'm, I don't I don't recruit from schools. I don't recruit from schools. There are um, certain locations that only take people from schools. How much does he pay them? Well, the starting pay is low. It's somewhere between $15 and $17, depending on experience. One of the girls I was speaking to is actually making $14 for a 50-minute massage. So what's that? You know, if you have eight clients a day, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. However, on top of that, they make between 12 and uh, $14 tips. If you have a booking. The therapists here, do they get paid when they're not working? Do they get paid by the hour, by the massage? Is they there a base paid, pay? Or? There is, a, um, there's not a, a base pay. They get paid by the massages that they do. Um, there's some loca it varies from location to location because where I work, they're all independently owned and operated. So there are some locations whereas um, the therapists are paid based on um, they have an hourly rate if it's not exceeded by the number of massages that they do. So uh, we are a very busy clinic. I did um, 2050. 2050 hours of massage last month so I don't have that issue but there are some that do get paid by the hour because they're not their number of massages never out don't out exceed the number of uh, hours that they sit so my there I have a bit very busy clinic out of 18 we're probably number two out of 18 so you can go to some clinics and they you know, they don't do as much massage. Uh, one of them was pay offering the therapist $9 on an hour massage, another one 10 Well, you know what they say? If you get a big company paying all the workers $14 an hour, that's the beginnings of a good union. <laughs> it's not a lot of money for someone that's building their own business or has a lot of maturity. However, some of our grads are younger they don't really know what it means to run their own business. And, you know, close to $30 an hour is still a lot better than McDonald's minimum wage, right? So it all depends how you look at it. The idea is, the idea of Massage Envy, well get this, is to um, offer a very affordable massage to their members. They charge a membership fee by the month and the members have a very low price for the massage. So they're getting massages from all these novices and beginners and some experienced people who can't find enough work going there out of desperation. So that too. But most of the time it's just a newbie who just got out of school very green with their technique and they're just trying to get, get something going until they can move on.